Hello, I'm Scott Meldon with VanWall Equipment. We want to take a few minutes today to discuss the mandatory software update for the Starfire 3000 and the Starfire 6000. The software update needs to be done prior to the 2021 planting season to be able to have full functionality for the receivers. This can either be done by someone from the John Deere dealer or you can do it yourself at home. We're going to take time today to go through how to get the software from Stellar Support onto either a USB drive or a memory card, and then also how to actually update whether it's through a 2600 display, 2630 display, or a Gen 4 display. The first thing we need to do to get our receivers updated to the most current software is to download the free software from the John Deere website, StellarSupport.com. We do this by going through Google Chrome to www.stellarsupport.com. It will bring you to this landing page where you must select your country or region. In the US, we'll select English. And then in the middle of the screen, there will be the software updates. We will click on software updates. This will take us to all of the current available software for all the John Deere Precision equipment. Here we have the Generation 4 display, which is the 4600 mounted in the cab of the tractor or the Universal 4640 display. Down two from there, we have the Green Star 2630 and the Green Star 2600. There are two different software versions for these two different families of displays. You cannot have the, same, the software on the same USB for both displays. You must have a separate storage device for each family of display. First we'll talk about the Gen 4 display. You click the plus next to Generation 4 display and it will open up the drop down. You will then need to go down to the download now button and click on the download now button. It will then either prompt you to log in to your My John Deere account and then bring you to this landing page or if you're already logged into your My John Deere account it will bring you directly to this landing page. You will then click the download button in the center of the screen. This will put the John Deere software manager icon on your desktop. Once the icon is on your desktop you then will insert your USB storage device and follow the prompts on the screen to place the software on your USB stick. This is for the 4600 and 4640 displays, or Gen 4s. Next, we'll look at downloading the software for the 2600 and 2630. You go down and click this plus beside the Green Star 3 2630 line item. Again, it will open up the display to open up the display and see the Download Now button. If you click on the Download Now button, it will want to act, download to your computer the GS Live Update Setup. Download this to your desktop computer and then follow the prompts on the screen. You will be asked to download for a 2630 and a 2600. The 2630 software then can be placed on a USB. The 2600 software will have to be placed on the compact flash card. Once you have the software on your storage device, we will then either go to the tractor or if you have a desktop harness, we can update the displays and receivers inside your office. Now we're going to discuss the process to update a Starfire 3000 or Starfire 6000 using a Gen 4 display. This can either be a 4640 universal display or the armrest mounted 4600 Gen 4 display in a tractor or a combine. Keep in mind, it is very critical that throughout this update process you do not lose battery power. So if your battery it may be weak or cold from being seen all winter, please make sure that you have a battery charger or something on it to not lose electric power during the upgrade process. Now we're ready to update our Starfire 3000 receiver using the Gen 4 monitor. For demonstration purposes we have a John Deere 4640 display hooked to a desktop harness. This can either be mounted in the corner post of the tractor or if your tractor is new enough and has a 4600 display mounted on the armrest, you can do it upgrade the same way. 
On a 4640, there's a USB port on the right side where you insert your USB with your Gen 4 software. If you have a tractor that has a Gen 4 mounted on the armrest, the USB port will be in the far back right corner of the cab. In both scenarios, insert the USB into the USB port on the side of the display. Once the USB is inserted in the display, you will see a message come up about USB drive options. To upgrade the software, you will choose the install software option on the middle of the screen. You will then choose install from USB. At this screen, you'll then choose the view updates for other devices, not the view updates for the display. Select next. The display will then search for updates on the USB for either the receiver or any other components that are on the machine. Here we have version 2.80S available. The current version on the receiver is 2.20M. 2.80S is required for the Starfire 3000 to function properly in 2021. At this point, you will then select the install button and the receiver will automatically process through the upgrade process until completion. It is important that we do not lose electrical power during the update process. In the event you do lose power during the update process, you will need to bring your Starfire receiver into the dealership and we will have to do a factory reprogram. The receiver will still be functional, however we just have to put original factory software on it. This process on a Starfire 3000 can take upwards of 20 to 30 minutes to complete the installation process. Once the installation has been completed, one, one final pro um, once the installation has been completed, one final action needs to be done on the Starfire 3000. So I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to go to the ISO VT button, and I'm going to go to my Starfire 3000 receiver. When you go to your Starfire, hit the setup button at the top and verify that the check mark is in the default frequency. During the update process, this check mark could very well possibly be removed. Again, verify the check mark is in the default box for normal operation. Once that is done, Pull your machine outside and you will begin to build Starfire signal. Now we're going to show the update process for a Starfire 6000 through a Gen 4 display. For demonstration purposes, we're using a 4640 universal display connected to a desktop harness. You can have this display and receiver connected in your piece of equipment, or if you have a new enough piece of equipment that has a Gen 4 on the armrest, you can update through that display as well. On the 4640 display, we have the USB ports on the right side of the screen. If you have a Gen 4 on the armrest, you will use the USB port in the very far back right corner of the cab. We insert the USB into the USB port, and then you'll get the pop-up on the screen for the USB drive options. You will select Update Software, select Install from USB Drive, and then select View Updates for Other Devices. Then select Next. The display will then search for the Starfire 6000 receiver and verify that the software is available. It shows that we have a Starfire receiver on the network. The current software version is 4.20N. The available software version is 4.40P. 4.40 is required for operation in the spring of 2021. At this point you will then select the install button at the bottom and the display will progress through the update process to the receiver. This is the point where it's very critical not to lose electric power to the display or the receiver. In the event you do lose soft electric power during the software update you then will need to bring your receiver to the John Deere dealer and they can do a factory reset and get the software updated for you. Once the software is updated, you'll be able to pull the machine outside and it will begin to build signal and then you will be able to use it as initially intended. 
We're now going to discuss the upgrade process for the Starfire 3000, Starfire 6000 using the GS3 2630 display. The process for the 2630 display will be exactly the same on the 2600 display. However, instead of using a USB stick for the storage device, you will use the compact flash card that goes into the display. Keep in mind, it is very critical that during this upgrade process that you maintain electric power to the display and the receivers. So if your machine has been sitting over the winter and may have a weak battery, make sure that there's a battery charger or something on the machine so that you do not lose electric power during the upgrade process. Now we're going to update the Starfire 6000 utilizing the 2630 display. Similar to the 4640 display, we'll be utilize the USB port on the right side of the display. You'll insert your USB stick with the 2630 or GS3 software on it into the right side of the display. Wait for the USB to be recognized and the software versions to come up. Here it shows us that we have software version for a Starfire 6000 version 4.40N. This is the software that will need to be used on the Starfire 6000 for planting 2021. You can either hit the accept button at this point and it will proceed through the update process. Again, during this update process, make sure that you do not lose electric power to the display or the receiver. Should there be multiple updates for multiple pieces of equipment on the tractor, you can then select the cancel button and then hit the menu in the bottom right. And then by going to message center and the reprogram button, you can then determine which, dis which piece of equipment you would like to update. We will press the down arrow and select the GPS receiver and then press the reprogram device. And then we will select the software version on the that we would like to update. 4.40N versus 4.20N, which is currently on the receiver. We'll press the accept button and proceed through the software update. This could take upwards of 20 to 30 minutes going through the 2630 display. Now we're going to update the Starfire 3000 utilizing the 2630 display. Similarly to a 4640 display, we will utilize the USB port on the right hand side of the display. We'll insert our USB with our GS3 2630 software. Once the USB is recognized, we'll wait for it to tell us what software versions are available. Here we have Starfire 3000 and available software version 2.80S. This is the software version that will need to be on a 2630 and a Starfire 3000 for spring planting 2021. You can update the software on the receiver by pressing the accept button. This will then proceed through the update process to conclusion. If you choose to do this at this time, this is where you need to maintain electric power to the display and the receiver. If there are more than one component that needs to be updated at, at this time, you can press the cancel button, then press the menu button, and then by pressing the message center and the reprogram button, we can then choose which item to update. In this case, we'll press the down arrow and select the GPS receiver and press reprogram device. Here it shows us the current version of 2.20M. If we drop down the drop down box, we select our 2.80S. We can then press the accept button and proceed through the update process. Again, making sure to not lose electric power during the update process. Once the update process has been completed, there's one last step that needs to be checked for the Starfire 3000. Once the update process has been completed, proceed to the menu and the Starfire receiver icon and then select the setup tab at the top. Verify that there is a check mark in the default frequency box. If it is not there, place the check mark in the default frequency box. Then you can pull your tractor outside and the receiver will begin to pick up Starfire correction signal and be ready for use. Now that we've demonstrated the process to upgrade the software on a Starfire 3000 receiver and a Starfire 6000 receiver, we want to make sure to clarify that when selecting a USB stick for the Starfire 6000 software update through a Gen 4 4640 or 4600 display, 
to get a USB stick that is 16 gigabyte or larger. An 8 gigabyte USB stick will not have enough room for the entire software package. Once either receiver has been upgraded to the latest software package, you can then pull it outside, pull in software, and you'll be ready to plant in spring of 2021. If you have any difficulty downloading the software to your USB stick or compact flash card, please reach out to someone at one of our Van Wall locations or call the Van Wall Precision Support Line at 515-400-0340 and one of our experienced precision experts will be happy to assist you. Thank you and have a safe planting season.